Have you looked at the keyboard on your Chromebook? If you look closely, you'll notice that there are some strange, unfamiliar keys and also one very familiar key that is missing. In this quick video, we're going to look at the keyboard and explain what all of those different keys and uh, symbols do and mean. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the top of the Chromebook keyboard. That's uh, typically where you'll see the function row, but rather than F1, F2, etc., we have all these uh, kind of cryptic different symbols. I'm going to walk through each one and explain what they do. Now, we see escape on the left, very standard um, key, does what you expect it would do. But the next three keys are specifically designed for a device that runs on the web. So Chromebooks are a web-first device, and so it's not surprising to see the back, forward, and refresh buttons that will help you navigate the web and as you browse web pages. The refresh key in particular is very useful, especially uh, if you're teaching with Chromebooks. Because frequently, uh, you may need to refresh a page to see new content that's been posted. This is true of things like Google Classroom and occasionally Google Drive Docs uh, as well. So teaching students how to access and press that refresh key uh, can be very helpful in speeding up their access to uh, different websites. Moving to the right, next we're going to see the full screen button. And uh, this is a helpful key if you want to eliminate distractions and maximize space on your screen. Some Chromebooks have smaller screens, so this can be useful. So if I press the full screen key, it will hide all the navigation, the shelf at the bottom to maximize the content on my screen. Now this can be a little confusing to students because if they press that button accidentally, they lose all their tabs and navigation uh, controls. You can either put your mouse to the very top of the screen and they'll slide down or simply press that full screen button again to reveal the tools uh, that were hidden. Next uh, button up is my personal favorite. This is probably the most uh, strange button on the keyboard. This is called the switcher key. And the switcher key allows you to multitask with ease on a Chromebook. If you're a Mac user, uh, this is very similar to the spaces feature that uh, Mac OS offers. So when I press the switcher key, it provides me this overview of all of the different windows or apps that I have open. So right now I have I have Chrome tabs open on the left here, then I have my downloads, and I'm also running Google Keep. This allows me to quickly uh, click on one of them to switch uh, very quickly, very easily. The switcher key is going to become even more important if you start using Android apps on your Chromebook because you'll need to, again, switch between multiple open uh, applications. So that's a switcher key. That's also very important if you're taking a screenshot. Um, I have a different video that talks about screenshots on a Chromebook, which involves the, uh, the switcher key as well. Next up, we have two keys I don't use very uh, often. Uh, this is the screen brightness keys. So this one here will um, dim your screen and then the one right next to it will increase the brightness of your screen. One thing to be aware of if you're teaching, sometimes students will find it uh, funny to press the screen dim button. And if you continue to press it, eventually it turns off the screen entirely. Uh, this can be very confusing to a student because they think their Chromebook has restarted or it's not on and they'll continue to power cycle it, but the screen has been turned off through the brightness key. So you just have to press the, um, uh, the key that makes it brighter in order to turn it back on. So keep, uh, keep that in mind if you're teaching with Chromebooks. The next three keys are very, very important. Um, because frequently you may be browsing the web and a website will start playing a video without uh, you having pressed play. And so just by simply pressing the mute button right there, uh, you can disable the sound on your Chromebook. Very important to teach your students how to do this so that you're not having 30 autoplay videos um, blasting your room at the same time. Then you've got your um, decrease volume and increase volume button uh, to the right. Last key over on the far right side is the power button, and it, by pressing that, you can uh, turn off your Chromebook. If you press and hold it for three seconds, it will uh, power down your Chromebook. That's the function key. Those are the ones that are uh, possibly unfamiliar to you. The rest of the keyboard is uh, pretty straightforward, same layout as you would expect, with one very important um, exception, and that is this key right here. 
you'll notice that your Chromebook keyboard does not have a caps lock key. Instead, Google has replaced it with a search key. Now, I think this is great change because I don't use caps lock very often, but I do a lot of Google searches. By pressing the search key, it will bring up the Chrome app launcher, which gives you access to your frequently used apps, as you can see there, those five, as well as a Google search. All I have to do is type something into this search box and it'll perform a Google search for me, all with a single press of a button. This is great for elementary classrooms because literally with one press of the keyboard, your elementary students have access to Google search. No need to go to google.com and type in your query. Now, if you do find yourself in need of caps lock, you can still use it. You'll need to use the keyboard shortcuts alt and the search key at the same time. And you'll notice in the bottom right corner of your screen that a, a new symbol will appear right down here and you'll uh, see that arrow with the line underneath it that indicates that caps lock is on and there's two ways to turn off caps lock you can either click the taskbar on the right it shows that caps lock is on I can click there to turn it off or I can press alt search to uh, disable it as well so Caps lock key, not on the keyboard, replace with search, but press alt search to uh, toggle that on and off. That's a quick overview of your Chromebook keyboard. I hope you'll take advantage of those keys across the top as you uh, browse the web and you'll find them useful.